So um, this is my main power supply on my bench, a DP832A, and, and I do like it, uh, but it has a, a problem that I just, I need to, I need to find a solution for. And um, let me just talk about the things I don't like about it. it it's great in every other way. Um, things I don't like about it, I don't, I don't like the numbers in a circle. That's just too gimmicky for me. Um, and um, I don't like that there's a common ground between these two supplies. Um, the, the, the three supplies, it's a triple power supply. The three supplies are not totally independent. And that doesn't get you in trouble very often, but once in a while it will. Um, but here's the big problem. Um, now, some people have noticed I put a little uh, light shield around it because uh, I just couldn't see, there was too much glare on the screen and I just couldn't see it. Um, but here's, here's my real problem is I can't read that number. I, I, I can't read it whatever color that is, and I, I, can't, I can't read that. Now, if I uh, got on my knees and looked at this, it would look perfectly good. So the LCD is adjusted so that um, it's good straight on and from below. So if it was up uh, you know, higher on a rack, it would, be, it would be great. It would work really, really good. But when I'm looking down at it, I just can't see it. My, eye, my, my old eyes just, just can't see it. And I've, yes, you can adjust the intensity and the contrast and all those other things. Yes, I've tried all those things. I've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. Now, when it's actually, when it's actually running, um, the big numbers are fine, right? And I've showed those on cameras a lot. I have no problem with the big numbers. It's these little set numbers that just drive me insane. And I just, I just can't deal with it any longer. Um, so I was looking for a power supply uh, that had the same functionality um, and uh, that I could read the numbers on. And I found something. All right, um, these were not on my radar. I didn't even know these existed until I started looking for power supplies. Um, this is a Keithley uh, 2231A33. Uh, so uh, it can do 30 volts at three amps. Now it has a triple output. Uh, these two will go from zero to 30. This one will go from zero to five. Which is, which is exactly the same as that, that thing over there. That's also a three amp, a zero to 30 volts. So they're, they're very, very similar uh, power supplies. And this one has great specs. Of course, it's Keithley, um, but the display, remember it's the display. So let me turn on the display. Well, guess what? It's got a vacuum fluorescent display, which I just perfect. It's just perfect. Okay. So, uh, you can see, you can see the numbers, the numbers really, really nice. And when I go to set something, I'll do a V set. Uh, it, it's the same, it's the same number, right? So turn this off. It goes to zero volts, but I say V set, it's set to 12, 12, five. And, uh, then goes back and I do I set it's one amp, one amp, one amp. Um, and of course those are all adjustable. The keyboard is, is, is in a correct orientation. Uh, it does have some arrows and stuff. It does have a knob. It has everything you need. Um, and it's just super, super su simple for me. And I can read this. <laughs> I can read this, uh, no matter what, what angle I'm looking at, uh, uh, this is going to be just fine. Um, it does have a, uh, let me zoom out a bit here. It does have a, a bale like like a, a, a supply and I've got it up but if it's flat it doesn't take up much bench space either it's not it's much much smaller than than that, than that other supply okay uh, on the back uh, it's pretty sparse uh, nothing back here except for the fan and and there's a TTL connection here for comport so it's RS232 but TTL only TTL, so it says right in here. It's only, it's for the uh, USB adapters, but it's it's RS two thirty two, but but at TTL levels, um, and that's all there is to it. I mean, super simple, super expensive, <laughs> super expensive. I think these things are twelve hundred dollars new, uh, something like that. So I found this on eBay for five hundred and fifty, uh, which was still a kind of a shock, but. It, it ticked all my boxes for what I needed it for. I just, I just couldn't read those stupid little numbers. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have this now as my main supply and I will put it over there. Adjust the camera here a bit. I'm going to put it there and it'll be lower. I think right on top of it, I want to put one of my, probably the, probably the uh, Agilent, uh, the HP uh, 34401. I use that more than any other meter here, and it's way up there. It doesn't make any sense. It should be right down here. You notice I'm always going up and down with my camera. So I think we're going to have the power supply and the DVM. Um, and I don't know exactly how it will rearrange. This, this might have to go up a little bit, but that's my goal, is to rearrange, rearrange the bench a little bit. But... Um, Yes, indeed, I am going to enjoy this thing. All right, let's look at the data sheet here. It's 195 watt triple channel DC supply. And uh, all three channels are totally isolated. Uh, I didn't mention that, but each each of the three channels is totally isolated. Um, and set voltages to 0.06% accuracy current with 0.2% accuracy, uh, DC power with, with a 5 millivolt peak-to-peak -peak noise, um, display voltage and current same time, double output levels by connecting, so you can connect the two 30s and get a 60, or you can put them in parallel and get 6 amps instead of only 3 amps. Uh, store frequently sets. So you can have 30 different uh, stores and recalls. Um, turn off any output after predetermined test time. Yeah, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit. Control the supply from a PC with a USB adapter. All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so you can do 60 volts or 6 amps. If you parallel or, or series the two, easily test, monitor, protect your circuits, adjust, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so you can have it turn on in sequence. You can program this so you can have channel one turn on and then channel turn two turns on and then channel three turns on with these delays and stuff. So you can program it to do that, which is super nice in some instances. Um... Yeah, uh, let's see, what else will it do? Uh, line regulation, 0.02%. Ripple and noise, voltage less than one millivolt um, RMS. So it's less than one millivolt RMS, five volt peak to peak, millivolt peak to peak. Current is minus six, minus, or the current is less than six milliamp RMS. Uh, ripple on the current resolution. You can set it within 10 millivolts and within 1 milliamp. Uh, feedback voltage, same. Isolation. Uh, output to output can be isolated up to 240 volts. Uh, what else does it do? Yeah, warranty three years. I don't think mine's in warranty any longer, but uh, vacuum fluorescent display, that's what I want. Output timer range, you can have it turn off automatically, I think, too. Zero, uh, point 0.1 seconds to 999.9 seconds. That's a lot of seconds. Uh, yeah, should be great. Uh, so uh, thanks out to my patrons. Allow me to have a little bit of money to spend. Uh, I think this will be a good addition to the bench. And I'll need to be rearranging some stuff.